it's a little later than expected, but it's time for another Brawl Top 5. Last time it was my Top 5 Best and Worst Characters, this time it's my Top 5 Best and Worst Stages. These are the stages I like and don't like brawling on, so the classic stages that rolled over from Melee are included, but not the stages I've created, but that's because most of them I made purely so I could unlock the goodies, so they suck. Don't forget the usual, this is my opinion, yours will be different and all that malarkey, but with that in mind, let's get cracking. WarioWare Incorporated. I wasn't sure whether to have this stage or Picture Chat as number 5, but the WarioWare game on the GameCube was great fun, and this stage has some cool minigames during battles to make things a bit more entertaining. Successfully completing the minigames gives you a nice reward to help you along, even if it does screw you over by making you large but giving everyone else invincibility. Even so, it's a cool stage for some fun rules. Big Blue. I've never been a fan of moving stages in anything. Even going back to the old Super Mario games, levels that squabble along annoyed me, and when it comes to Melee and Brawl, there's no difference. It starts off okay, but when you move on to the smaller cars, it becomes annoying. If you fall off the cars, which can easily happen, it's really difficult to get back on them, so you end up getting KO'd, causing the match to be more about luck rather than skill. Or maybe I just suck. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. In Melee, Pokemon Stadium was a decent stage, mostly due to its changing terrain, which spiced things up a bit. Not only did Pokemon Stadium roll over into Brawl, but we also got Pokemon Stadium 2, which is just as great. Both have four alternate forms based on some of the different types, like fire, water, electric and ice, meaning you have to adapt your fighting style to incorporate the new terrains. Whichever one you have, it still makes for a great Brawl. Rainbow Ride. Just like with Big Blue, I wasn't a fan of Rainbow Ride in Melee, and my feelings towards it haven't changed. There's just something about this stage that bugs me, though it's probably a safe bet is the fact it's a moving stage. Again, just like with Big Blue, it starts okay on the ship, but when it moves on from there, I look forward to being back on the ship. This was the first moving stage I battled on in Melee, and it certainly left a lasting impression, just not in a positive way. Spear Pillar. And we're back with the Pokemon themed stages, and with this one, though the stage itself is okay, it's the Pokemon that appear in the background that make this stage awesome. One of three legendary Pokemon will occasionally appear, I don't know what their names are, I haven't really ventured outside the first generation of Pokemon, and each one affects the stage in a different way, like through gravity, slowing time, or giant beams of doom. What's not to love? Newport City. Yes, a non-moving stage. So what's wrong with this one? It's far too big for my liking, and there's an innuendo in there somewhere. I sometimes think if the space was used up a bit more, it wouldn't be so bad, but then I'd probably moan it was too cluttered. The problem with big stages is it can take ages to get someone's percentage high enough to gain the KO, to the point it becomes frustrating when they just won't die. Hyrule Temple, another melee stage, and this was one of my favourites in that too. Now I know I just said I don't like New Pork City because it's a large stage, and I know Hyrule Temple is a large stage as well, but it makes much better use of the space. Granted, it is a wide stage, but it isn't particularly high, so it makes getting the KOs much more reasonable. Plus, due to how wide the stage is and the architecture, there are some options for using the terrain to your advantage. Just don't be a dick and stay on the lower platforms. Hainanbow, however you pronounce it, the plant one. I don't know why I don't like this stage, I, I had a match on it to capture the footage and it was fine. It's nice, it's colourful, it's good size, everything's fine about it, but for some reason the thought of this stage, I just don't like it. And you'd think having it as my number two I'd be able to have this massive rant about what's wrong with it, but when I was trying to write the script, I had nothing. Look, I just couldn't come up with anything, so I don't know why I don't like it, I just don't. It's weird. I'm weird. Next. Final destination. It's simple but effective. A flat platform floating in midair. No obstacles that could get in the way. Big enough to have a decent match on, but not so big that if someone is winning, they can't just spend the last 15 seconds of a match running away. Justin. When I first started playing Melee, Hyrule Temple was my favourite stage, but as I played this one more, I really liked the simplicity of it, and the stunning changing background is the cherry on an already delicious cake.
75 M. You can probably guess why I don't like this stage in the slightest. It's not only the fact it's massive, but the platforms to fight on are annoying too. Most of them are really small, making it difficult to fight on them, and having to jump between them to fight makes it even worse. If I wanted to play a platforming game, I'd be playing Mario, Sonic, or even Metroid. The match pretty much seems to end up taking place almost entirely in the top right hand corner every time, but even then things come flying at you which can just get in the way. Absolute fail. We've now had my top 5 best and worst characters and stages in Brawl. A new top 5 is already underway and I promise this time it won't take over 2 months for me to finish it. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Sudden death. Go! Now. Game.